Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ryan Ford with Apex Movement, and today we're going to talk about rope climbing. Climbing rope is a fantastic way to develop your grip and also your upper body pulling strength. Now this is kind of an old school strength building technique, but I'm here to convince you on why we gotta bring this back. To start off with, there's a few different techniques that you can use to rope climb. Thinking back to gym class when you were a little kid, what you probably would do was try to pinch it with your feet. But you can see that you don't get a ton of grip that way, and it's easy to kind of slide out from that. So I recommend to just trash that one. There are better ways to climb a rope, and here's the one that we're gonna do first. So this is called the Spanish wrap or leg wrap technique. Basically, you wrap it around your leg, step on it, and you can see it takes almost no energy just to hang out in this position. So, to look at that one more time, I'm going to wrap this rope around my leg, starting with my leg on the outside. You wrap it all the way around, get it up on top of your foot, and then step on top of that with your other foot. Now, when you're hanging and climbing, you want to keep your arms pretty straight. So I'm going to take a step and move my arms back up. You kind of got to shake this rope to get rid of the slack. And again, you can see it takes almost no strength to hang out in this position. Once you've built up some more strength and you want to climb up this rope a little bit faster, there's another technique you can use called the fast rope or fast climb technique. And the way this one works is you're going to put your knee on the outside of the rope here, and that rope's gonna cross your shin to the outside of that foot. Now you take the bottom foot and go under it to pinch it together like this. Now you can see that this takes very little strength as well. I can kind of hang out in this position because a lot of the weight is on my feet. And then as I go, I just redo that same footwork. And you can see this is a little bit faster than that previous technique because I don't have to like shake out the slack or the rope each time. Aside from those two main techniques, there are a couple more challenging ways you can climb the rope. Obviously, when you take your legs out of the equation, it's going to be a lot harder. So if you wanna just work on pure climbing strength, do no legs, or you can even do like an L-sit. Also, we're gonna take a look at some progressions and exercises you can do to get you toward the rope climb if you can't do it yet. So things like just hanging on the rope, um, doing some basic pull-ups, or even using your legs on the ground to kind of let you down and assist you on the way back up. If you've got a good rope climb already and you want to get better, you can do just about any hanging exercises that you can do on a bar, also on a rope. So you can do your knees to elbows, toes to bar, or toes to rope, um, front levers, ice cream makers, you can do L-sit pull-ups, all kinds of different things to help you build strength in your grip and in your back and your arms. So anyway, the rope climb is an awesome way to get a lot stronger. It's kind of gotten forgotten over the years, but I want you to bring it back because it's such an effective way to build good, functional, solid upper body strength. My name is Ryan Ford, and if you want to be a boss like me, subscribe for more beastly training.